welcome to my channel and today I wanted to show you how to draw watercolor lips so if you are interested please stay with me and let's begin so as you can see I prepared my watercolor paper and uh, this is my watercolors and this is a palette so you can see what kind of colors I'm mixing so I guess let's jump right into the sketching so today I wanted to show you like um, how to draw lips from the scratch so I'm uh, having my um, pencil very basic one without any names but as you can see the pencil itself is very thin and the graphite is like very um, sharp so let's begin so what I like to do at first I like to set the general form so I can see where my lips are going to be and um, okay so let's pretend then this is going to be our lips from here to here and probably from here to here I wanted to draw like super juicy big lips today because it's easier to show like drawing tutorials um, to some perfect lips <laughs> as, you, as, as you might say so then next what I like to do uh, this is like a general uh, way of drawing lips so what we are doing uh, I like to begin with the lower lip and uh, we are drawing like two uh, circles to set the form something like this and like this like very simple circles then uh, for the upper lip we are drawing uh, five circles but what I like to do is I like to set the basic circle over here then this one and well it's basically quite enough but if you wanted to set like a proper form you can also draw it like this and basically that's it this is your uh, like a shape of your lips so what we're going to do next we're going to outline the inner corners of our lips So here we go, here are our lips. Don't forget about teeth, our teeth. So of course you can keep it like this, but you know, as long as our mouth is open, it's there's supposed to be teeth somewhere. What do you think? I think there is supposed to be somewhere. So the key is in drawing teeth are Do very light sketching of it and don't draw it like a square shape with the very sharp edges because we don't have such uh, teeth they are very sometimes rounded uneven and so on and on Yeah, so we basically almost done. Um, 
this shape is more than enough to start to draw watercolors so I guess we shall begin with the watercolors so let's talk about colors we're going to be using for the lips so it's probably going to be yeah this bright rose color so of course we're going to mix it but i'm going to draw it like this so you will see bright rose any shade of rose with like cool tone then we are probably going to be using red color and as you might see it's almost like orange in comparison to the rose colors so we need warm and cool toned colors then most likely we are going to be using burnt umber and uh, this color is kind of looks like brown color but it's very you know light as you can see it's not like brown but very light brown and it calls burnt umber then for the darker parts we are going to be mixing indigo color and as well we are going to be use it for the teeth and it's like this deep blue dark color and on some parts but if you don't have it that's okay I'm gonna be using ivory black to create very deep shadows and of course these colors may be vary because I'm most likely gonna be using different shades of rose different shades of red because I have like different types of um, rose color as you can see I have this one and it gives like a very different shade of rose yeah so we're going to mix it up okay let's begin at first I like to erase um, my pencil because I don't like it to be too visible so I'm going to just roll it have like very um, nice <laughs> eraser as you can see this is like a professional eraser for watercolors it's very soft and um, you can just gently roll it over the paper and it will um, erase slightly your pencil without um, doing any damage to your paper which is awesome okay let's begin so I am gonna I guess as always wet my paper because I'm gonna draw with wet on wet technique And I'm going to wet my lips, avoiding um, any other areas. Upper lip and lower lip.
So the key in our case is to save transparency of colors and I'm gonna be mixing colors and apply it layers by layers uh, but with a very transparency. So I'm gonna be using rose color mixed with burnt umber. To create a general color shape. Okay, let's go. Okay, the next layer is going to be the same colors and uh, we're going to keep it transparent because it doesn't matter if you mix darker colors it's just going to fade so we're going to keep it um, with the same colors the same transparency but when you apply it layers by layers it creates this um, an illusion of multi-layering so let's see how it goes the next layer i'm going to apply is going to be already um like creating all the bumps and creases on the lips that we usually have as you can see i mixed um, the same colors a bit of rose and a bit of burnt umber If I don't like how um, the paint uh, applies on the paper, I love to use my another clean wet brush and spread the paint like this. Of course, I'm having a photo reference in front of myself. It makes the task much easier. That's enough for the for the upper lip. Let's go to the lower lip. We are following the shapes as well. So do you remember when we draw all the circles? So we are kind of following the shapes of these circles to create um, a value. As you can see, I'm working with the two brushes. It's really helpful. Slightly spreading the paint and then going to the side of lip. So basically there is a lot of um, techniques of how to draw lips in watercolors. You can keep it very wet and uh, uneven and the shape might be very transparent if you like you can just even leave it like this because it all depends what kind of um, drawing you are doing so maybe this shape of lips is quite enough and you don't need to apply more layers of the paint which I totally agree and with the same brush with the same color I'm applying next layer right on top as you can see uh, the previous layer is already dried and when you apply the same color it creates like a different layer very visible one but again when it will dry it will be much more transparent again I love to use my second brush to spread the paint I 
I'm using very neutral colors, but if you like, you can use like bright red or purple, whatever color you like, because colors of the lips are very different. And when you want to draw lipstick on the lips, it's a completely different story. You can add a lot more colors. But with the um, neutral colors like this, it's just easier to show you the process. So the key is basically to go over the lips to add some layers to create this illusion of wrinkly lips. Okay, while our lips are drying, let's move on to our different areas of lips. Let's draw a tongue. So I'm mixing the same colors of burnt umber, a bit of red and a bit of rose. So the color should be a bit warmer. This part of our mouth is supposed to be a bit darker because there is not much light that coming to this area but we begin with a light color you cannot apply a dark color right away slowly avoiding our teeth okay for the teeth I'm gonna be using my favorite indigo color and I'm going to add very, very light um, color, mostly transparent. So before I'm applying this color, I'm wetting my T-zone. And then grabbing some color on my brush, slowly and carefully applying it to my teeth. I begin with this upper part of our teeth because our lips create a shadow so this is going to be the darkest part then I'm going slowly down to create the shape so try to be very careful with the colors because if you apply too much uh, the teeth are going to be very dark we don't want that it's uh, quite white after all and the lower teeth. Okay, let's mix another layer of indigo and let's add a bit of burnt umber and a bit of rose to create like a violet ish kind of color. As you can see, it creates very visually appearing uh, shadows. But I also love to spread the paint a little with my clean brush. And we also can add a bit of red and brown color on the lips, just very little to create an illusion of shadows. The more blue color you're adding to your teeth, um, the more lighter and whiter they seem to look like. Okay, so let's uh, draw another layer to our tongue using same colors, red and burnt sienna, a bit of rose and now I'm going to add a bit of ivory black, just a little, to cool down our color and outline it. As you can see the color is getting brighter and I'm carefully avoiding our teeth So 
So with the same color I've been using for the tongue, I am applying it to my lips again to create this um, wrinkly texture and slowly spreading the paint, mixing more uh, dark color. So every layer I am applying um, the same colors but with the slightly different shades and transparency. This one is going to be a bit darker and I'm going to spread the paint as well. Okay, let's get to the teeth and mix indigo. Rose and indigo again. A bit of burnt umber to cool down the colors. Let's go slowly creating the shadows. So I love to use two brushes and uh, of course to spread the paint and also um, to draw different objects because my one paint or my one brush is quite bigger than the other as you can see so it helps to switch and draw different objects and a bit more just a little As you can see, I'm leaving this white, white part untouched because usually we have this highlight on our lips as this thin line. Okay, don't be afraid to draw our teeth a bit darker. That's totally fine. The main key is to use cold colors like blue, indigo and even black. So we are almost done 
almost I'm saying because I want to add a little bit of defined shadows under our teeth just a little like this and then we are going to move on to our highlights Okay, so let's add a little bit of here because this part is usually the darkest because it's almost create like shadow under the lip. And let's move on to the highlights. So I'm using my favorite white gel from Jerry Roll. It's a Japanese um, brand. Okay, so highlights. You can add just a little bit of highlights. You can add a lot of highlights. All depends on what kind of lips you're drawing and if there is a lot of lipstick or lip gloss. It all depends on that. So we are drawing kind of kind of natural lips, but at the same time I want to show you how to create this glossy effect. So let's go and add some highlights on the top of our lip. It's good because I'm drawing quite big lips, so it's easy. To create all those highlights and strokes and unevenness when you are drawing quite a small lip I mean where you are drawing portrait the face is quite small the lips is even smaller so there is no point of drawing every single details like strokes and unevenness you can add just a general form and add a bit of highlights so because our lips are quite um, neutral colors it's quite light you can't really see the highlights it's not that bright and when you are drawing like red lips darker lips you can add highlights and it's going to be super visible so I'm creating these highlights located to the very part of her lips that might catch the light that's the point so i'm adding highlights following the shape of her lips as you can see highlights makes like huge difference because it's create like volume brightness it changed the game right away and that's it we are done our lips looks fine and juicy and uh, the colors looks neutral but at the same time i think it looks quite um you know defined and uh, bright so this is it this is our lips i hope you enjoyed this um tutorial and let me know in the comments if this was helpful also if you would follow my tutorial please let me know and you can also follow me on instagram and tag all your drawings on instagram and i will for sure check it and like it and comment it probably so let me know and follow me on instagram and subscribe to my channel i'll link the ring bell to get the notifications and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!